The story of Mimi Nashi Hoichi. Some centuries ago, there lived at Akama Gaseki a blind man named Hoichi. As a professional biwa hoshi, he became famous by his recitations of the Battle of Dan no Ura. At the outset of his career, he was very poor, but he found a good friend. The priest of the Amidaji, who gave him a room in the temple building. One summer night, the priest was out performing a Buddhist service at the house of a dead parishioner, and Hoichi was cooling himself on the veranda, waiting for the priest's return. Midnight passed, and he heard somebody advance to the veranda and halt in front of him. Then a deep voice called the blind man's name in the manner of a samurai summoning an inferior. Holy c h i c h there is nothing to fear, the stranger exclaimed. My lord desires to hear your performance tonight, so take your b e a r and come with me. Scared as he was, Hoichi could not but go with the retainer. Hoichi was taken to a place unfamiliar to him, and there he was told to recite the saddest part of the history of the Heike, the story of the Battle of Dan no Ura. After his wonderful performance, a woman's voice said, Our Lord desires that you shall perform before him every night for the next six nights. Come here at the same hour tomorrow night. It was almost dawn when Hoichi returned, but his absence from the temple had not been observed. In the middle of the following night, Hoichi went out with the same samurai. But this time, his absence was discovered and made known to the priest. The priest, suspecting something wrong, instructed the men servants of the temple to keep watch upon Hoichi's movements. On the very next night, Hoichi was seen to leave the temple, and the servants followed after him. But it was a rainy night and very dark. So they soon lost sight of him. And they were about to return to the temple when they heard the sound of Biwa furiously played in the cemetery of the Amidaji. The men hastened to the cemetery, and there they discovered Hoichi sitting alone before the memorial tomb of Antoku Tenno, chanting the chant of the Battle of Dan no Ula. And around him, And everywhere above the tombs, the fires of the dead were burning like candles. Sure that he had been bewitched, they seized him and hurried him back to the temple. The priest knew at once that he was in great danger. With the help of his acolyte, he stripped Hoichi and traced upon all parts of his body the text of the Holy Sutra called Hanya Shin Kyo, so that his body might be invisible to the evil spirit. But one big mistake was made then. His acolyte failed to write the holy text upon Hoichi's ears. Hoichi was left alone on the same veranda for the night, and when the priest hastened back the following morning, he found Hoichi sitting with the blood oozing from his head. Poor Hoichi. His ears had been torn off by the ghost samurai, who had taken them with him in proof that his lord's command had been obeyed. Thereafter, He was known only by the appellation of Mimi Nashi Hoichi. Hoichi, the e r s